Hey friends and welcome back to my channel, The Lovely Lost Girl. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, this is me, subscribe. So today I thought I would make a 10 things to do during quarantine video because I'm sure we could all use at least 10 things to do while we have nothing to do. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Number one, plant a garden or go eco-friendly. Um, so I kind of did both. My roommates and I already had decided that this year we wanted to plant a garden. So we kind of already had the foreground built for that. Um, before all this started, we just kind of, as we could put stuff into the ground as we went. Um, but it's, the weather has been super nice for the most part we've had a couple of crazy things happen so um but other than that it's been pretty good it's spring it's literally the time to plant it's going into summer so it's a little warmer so you don't have that fear of that frost um you know killing everything in the middle of the night and if you are at home you can actually like really cultivate it we've like a little a little bit of time we've had we're, we're all essential workers but we have had a little bit of time to really cultivate it and it's looking really good and pretty soon we're gonna have our own vegetables and I'm so excited um, how going on to the eco-friendly part how I've been doing that is I've been using a lot less plastic and even recycling some plastic that I've had around um, just to kind of like cut down on it, get rid of it. Mostly plastic bags, plastic bags pile up like crazy in my house. And um, so I've been recycling those and trying to use more totes and things like that. It's definitely a process, but we're getting there. So it's um, definitely something to do. It kind of makes you more conscious of what you're doing and what you're buying. And kind of in a way makes you like, realize what you really need so that's kind of cool um okay number two build a self-care routine or a routine in general so like if you don't have a routine at all like you don't go to bed at a certain time you don't um eat at a certain time you know whatever whatever your day is just blah go ahead and build that routine because it's really gonna help you, like if you're trying to lose weight or if you're trying to um, just sleep better or you're like, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to go back to work soon and, and I have absolutely no idea what that's gonna feel like, go ahead and start now, you know, start up, give yourself a bedtime, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, Self-care, if you feel like you, girl if you feel like you need your glow up get your glow up you're worth it um like light a candle you know practice meditation practice yoga you know just anything along those lines of self-care it's super important and in our busy life I feel like we really really forget to just take care of our bodies and ourselves and it's it, it's really sad but you know life life gets us sometimes and it's okay it does me too but we just gotta, you know, really gotta grab onto the time we have when we're not doing anything and really invest it in something. Like, and what better thing to invest it in other than yourself? I mean, am I right or am I right? Which brings me to number three. Fix something that is broken. For this little project I've chosen myself. Ha 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 ha. That's a whole other video. We're not gonna get into that. Um, fix a button on a shirt, you know, you have a rip in a pillowcase, you, you know, you've been thinking about mending for a little while, do that. Oh my gosh, your broken chair. Just find something that's worth fixing and fix it that you've been meaning to fix. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Okay. And... Number four, can't count. Number four, um, learn a new language. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm, I'm, I'm reading what I wrote because 
I ramble and I forget things and I can't film and re and and read and keep count at the same time because I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, so number four, um, learn a new language. Okay, so I'm super excited about this one because I've actually been working hard to try to learn a new language. Um, I'm learning Japanese and that's, it can be a hard language. I don't feel like it's too difficult to like enunciate or anything like that. Um, I know some people have told me that they have had problems with it, but I think it's fine. Um, <laughs> my reason for learning Japanese is I want to, I, I, I want, I want to watch anime in, in Japanese. Go ahead. Go ahead. Judge me. Um, but how I've been doing that is the internet, basically. It's, it's there. We have it. You know, the world apocalypse hasn't caused anything to totally, sh you know, hasn't caused the internet to shut down. So, like, let's utilize that while we got it. Okay. Um, but YouTube has a ton of, like, podcasts, whatever, whatever's, um, videos that teaches you how to write, how to read, how to say the words, and that's really for any language, not just, you know, I'm not talking about just Japanese here. Um, the second thing I would highly recommend is an app on the app store it is i know it's available for iphone i don't know if it's available for android i'm sorry you'll have to look um but it's called drops and it's really cool because you literally spend five minutes just learning a little bit of that language and it that's all you're allowed for like the whole day or i can't i can't remember if it's the whole day or just like a few hours but five minutes and if you do it every day it will really 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 help um it's and it's super easy and um I th they have it for like they have like I think all the languages in there um and I kind of downloaded two of the same app the drops app it's one's just for Japanese and the other one is for like languages in general like you can pick your language and stick to it until you're finished but that way I get 10 minutes out of um, versus the five minutes and I can kind of learn just a little bit more or like really sink in what I've learned so far um and I think they have it for all the languages the set the one separate like app for that specific language and then the you know the app for all of it um, but not sponsored. It's just a really great app. I've really been enjoying it. So it was drops and I'll leave that in the description box below. So you guys can remember that too. All right. Which brings us to number five. Okay. So number five, try a new recipe. So if you guys are interested in cooking or you're not so good at cooking and you're like, you know, or you, you just want to learn to cook. I don't know. Um, try a new recipe, something you've never eaten before or something you've never made before. Just, it could be really anything. And the grocery stores are open right now, you know, at least for a limited time. I know most of them around my area are like to nine or 10 to like eight thirty that kind of range. Um, but, you know, as long as you're not going into the grocery store, grocery stores to, like, loiter or, you know, just stand around and look for hours, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, you know, just get in, get out, get what you need, and get home and stay safe. Um, so number six is kind of, like... A little bit of a guilty pleasure um, number six is play Animal Crossing <laughs> I've been playing it non-stop I've been super obsessed what can I say I love it are you playing Animal Crossing again
Yep. Didn't you say you had to shoot a video today? Don't judge me. <laughs> yeah. Number seven. Uh, color in a coloring book. I know that sounds super childish or whatever, but it can be super relaxing. Um, you can get the adult coloring books. You can get the kids coloring books. You can color with pens. You can color with colored pencils. You can color with markers. You can color with crayons. There are no rules. You can color outside the lines. It is just super therapeutic and it's really, really fun. Um, and it can, it can definitely make a couple of hours pass when you really just, you want to unplug, you have nothing to do and you're just like, bleh. Or like maybe you're an essential worker and you had to work that day and you're like, oh my gosh, people, no. Yeah, so it gets like that. I understand, I got you. So definitely coloring, coloring is good. Coloring is healthy, coloring breathes. Breathing is good, breathing is life. All right, so number eight, start a YouTube channel. That's what I'm doing with my time. Or don't, or, you know, whatever, make fun of me. That's cool too, whatever. Um, number nine, read a book. Or five. What? <laughs> and finally, number 10, plan a trip after, after quarantine is over or plan a remodel that you want to do during quarantine. Even if you don't have the money or you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna have the money to do what I want plan it anyway it's still it it can be relaxing and it can definitely kill a few hours to just like dream up the biggest dream you can dream like I'm planning on remodeling um a bedroom that I'm going to be moving into soon and I've just I've been excited I've it's gotten me through it's helped my creative process a lot to just kind of dream up what I want to do in there and how I want to make it my own space so, you know, plan that trip to Hawaii. Even if you never go, it's okay. Like maybe that plan, planning out every last detail or what you want to do or planning that trip to Disneyland that you've never taken that you've always wanted to will like really give you the motivation to save and actually go. You never know what's going to happen. So just, just plan it anyway. It's, again, super weirdly relaxing. I don't know what is so relaxing about planning something like that, but... I guess it just like gets your mind off everything else and it can really keep you going. But those are my 10 things to do during quarantine and I hope you guys enjoyed them. I hope you guys stay safe, keep well. If you're sick, get well and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.